Hello Rackstars, I'm Diego and in this quick tutorial I will show you how to connect your Whiskey Edge version 2 with Whiskey OS 2 to TTN via the CUP server. First, log into your gateway with your credentials. From the dashboard menu, click on the overview button tab then copy the EUI. Go to your TTN console page, click on register gateway. Paste the EUI into the Gateway EUI field and click Confirm. Input your Gateway ID. Enter the Gateway name, for example, Rack 72680783, a 3 and the frequency plan for this case used by TTN. Click on the Register Gateway button. Now, let's create the API key. On the left sidebar, search for the API Keys button tab and click it. Then click on the Plus Add API Key button. You must enter certain information such as the API name, then under the Rights option, select Grant Individual Rights. Now check Link as Gateway to a Gateway Server for Traffic Exchange. After that, click on the Create API Key button. Copy the API key and click on I have copied the key button. Take note that you should copy the key in a document as you'll be needing it later. On the left sidebar, click on the General Settings button tab. Then paste the generated API key on the LoRa Basic Station LNS Authentication key. Click on Save Changes. Now, let's create the API key for the CUP server. Go back to API Keys and click on the Plus Add API Key button. Then under the Rights option, select Grant Individual Rights. Check the boxes next to View Gateway Information, Retrieve Secret Associated with a Gateway, and Edit Basic Gateway Settings. After that, Click on the Create API Key button. Copy the API key and click on I have copied the key button. Take note that you should also copy the key in the document as you'll be needing it later. Go back to the Gateway Web UI and navigate to LoRa and click to change the working mode. Ensure that the chosen band of the gateway is the same one we selected in the TTN console. Now select Cup Server on the Basic Station Server Setup and then select TLS Server and Client Token Authentication on the Authentication Mode options. Then paste the generated API key and go back to the TTN dashboard and copy the Gateway Server address. Go to your gateway again and paste the Gateway Server address to the server URL and add HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash before it, then enter the port. To import a file with the certificate, download the file from the Rack Documentation Center or check on the link in the description. Finally, you will have to paste the previously downloaded certificates. You can either drag and drop them or browse for them. Then to save, click on the Save Changes button. The message success, the gateway has been successfully updated, will appear on the screen. Get back to your gateway TTN dashboard and click on the added gateway, Rack 72680783, a 3 and check the activity status to confirm that everything is working properly. Your gateway has now established a CUPS basic station server type connection with TTN. If you want more tutorials, stay tuned.